So you brought your bags today? Sure awesome, thank you. Bringing reusable bags to the grocery store is becoming more common across the country. But on Prince Edward Island, it's standard practice. The province banned plastic shopping bags four months ago after Asian countries where Canada was shipping plastic stopped accepting them. We were shipping uh, 30 million uh, carry-out bags out of province on an annual basis. To put that into perspective, that's about a tractor trailer load a month. While other municipalities like this one in New Brunswick still don't know what to do with all their plastic, Moore says the number of bags on PEI has already been radically reduced and that soon there won't be any plastic shopping bags on the island at all. It's good to save our planet and I mean we're the ones who are living in it so we're indirectly saving ourselves. The law makes it mandatory for businesses to charge for any kind of bag, a dollar for a reusable bag and 15 cents for a paper bag. The idea is to curb the dramatic increase of other kinds of waste, but it's also a source of revenue and for some, an opportunity. We're sort of going back to our roots, if you will. This food packaging company started in 1935 by providing burlap bags for island potatoes. Now it's offering burlap bags of a different kind. There are a number of different products that we've brought on because of this ban and it allows us to serve different customers, um, so certainly it'll increase our sales slightly. The remaining plastic bags on PEI come here to this recycling and manufacturing plant in Nova Scotia where they get turned into plastic lumber and used to build things like picnic tables. The owners disagree with bag bans. With all these plastic bag bans coming into effect so quickly, industry hasn't really had a chance to develop uh, a, new, uh, a new market for this material. So you don't need a bag? Back on the island, store managers say they're not getting any complaints. What's weird for us is when we go to New Brunswick or somewhere else and they give you a plastic bag. To us, that's like uh, out of this world, like why are we doing that still? But there are more changes to come. Sobeys is planning to ban plastic bags nationwide by the end of January. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Charlottetown.